So the one wind you don't want to have in Tribune Bay is southeast. And there's southeast predicted for today, but not uh, at 3 a.m. <laughs> so a big gale came through at 3 a.m. southeast, and then the waves pick up, and it's totally exposed to the south. So uh, we were not expecting it from last night's forecast to hit at 3 a.m. where it's supposed to hit this morning, right around the time we wanted to leave. I wasn't worried about us. We were sitting solid. I was more worried about the other boats around us. You know, you just never know how well they're anchored. And there was this really large catamaran that was right in front of us. And he definitely got closer to us uh, in the night. So that's probably what kept me up, is that I was wondering if he's gonna get closer again. They have so much windage on those catamarans. Like they're almost all out of the water. A little rolly because of all the wind action last night. But we uh, are making way now. Alright, so where are we now? Sailing across the strait and we're headed towards Texada Island. Wind has calmed down, it's beautiful, we saw whales. I may have nodded off a little bit. And I'll be whales! You watch them blow and die. What kind? Humpbacks. There's a few of them there, I think. Yeah. And they weren't too far off the, the starboard side. Not too far, just meandering along. Yeah. And now we've got three sails up. And we're in 3.8 knots. Yeah, so we've decided to stick to it and push through and get right across the whole strait of Georgia under sail. And calm down a lot. Calm down a lot. We've seen like two other boats from a very far distance. But otherwise, a uh, few planes, pretty quiet. Keeping our eyes out for whales still. Yeah. And what's our destination? We're going to Desolation Sound. <laughs> we'll Death. be there. We'll be there today. We'll be there today. It's gonna be great. We're gonna nap. Yeah, we've been up a long, lot of hours. <laughs>
well, we've made it to Melanie Cove in Desolation Sound Marine Park. I think we went 46 miles. A super fun entrance getting in here. So I caught that on the GoPro. My favorite anchorage in Desolation Sound Marine Park is Melanie Cove. It's kind of tucked in the back, uh, super protected. Uh, most of the boats in here stern tie, but there is a lot of room in the middle uh, to anchor. So there's a few, uh, probably four boats if you count us. Anyways, we are tired, so just going to call it a night. <laughs> I might have a nap boat here in the cockpit and uh, see uh, what we get up to tomorrow. But uh, we're not moving the boat tomorrow, I know that already. So we anchored in 32 feet last night, and now it's uh, 20 feet. A few boats left. Uh, one boat came in. Discovered the cockpit cushions are super comfortable for sleeping, especially when Devlin brings out blankets. <laughs> that made it extra comfy. And we're going to just... Uh, Go for a little stroll in the dinghy and then later we're going to go for a little hike um, over to Laura Cove but we'll do that once the water gets a bit higher uh, so we can beach the dinghy better but nice nice day to be in Desolation Sound Marine Park Head, I guess. Yeah, we're at the beachhead. There's supposed to be a trail from here to Melanie Cove. We don't see any signs of one going past an old homestead, but maybe we'll check it out on the beach on the Melanie Cove end and see. And it's really peaceful. And tons of eelgrass in that channel we just went through. And we could even see uh, spawning, or like the eggs. eggs. On it. Yeah. yeah, we see eggs on it. We saw crab, we saw starfish, we saw lots of cool things. It's a pretty awesome place here, isn't it? Yeah. Very cozy. Perfect afternoon to read a book. 
Got your magic blanket, which makes you really cozy. Yeah. Pink sweater. Pink. It's filling up again in here. Your bolts coming in. Yeah, but a drizz very drizzly day out. So, just nice to stay cozy in here. And we each have our book. Yeah. I'm reading about the St. Rock, which is a famous RCMP vessel. Just read its first passage. Where did it go? Through the Northwest Passage. Okay, what are we doing? We're going for a little hike to Lara Cove. So it looks like there's a couple other people already doing the trail. And uh, this is the way up. So what do you think of it in here? Highly recommend this walk. It's beautiful. Big trees, lots of green, a few mushrooms, a few stumps. Tons but of ferns. Lots of ferns. Just gorgeous. So peaceful. They said, you know, maybe half hour walk there and half hour return, but you have to now account for all of the photography stops, all of the video stops, all of the like, look at this. the dinghy this morning. Yeah. At high tide. Oh, there's a sailboat with its mask down. Oh yeah. Did you see that this morning? No, that wasn't there. Just a little one. And the sky's getting bright. Yeah. Where are we now? Back at the dinghy. <laughs> Back at Melanie. And the tide rose a bit. Huh. We, we we were standing on a rock out there, and we came in, and now we can't. I thought we were already at high tide, but... I guess the station in... Um, Lund. Probably Lund, there's a delay. Yeah. yeah. And the sun's out. Nice. Watch out the branches behind you. 